Jack here with Two Brothers Adventures. We're out in the desert today. We brought the chronograph. We're going to measure some bullet velocities today. What bullet velocities do is allow us to calculate the foot-pounds of energy from any particular bullet uh, based on its weight versus the speed that it's traveling. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the 22 long rifle, the 380 ACP, and the 40 Smith & Wesson. Those are the rounds that we particularly carry most frequently. We have 22s with us a lot when we're out um, for snakes and, and you know small camp meat, stuff like that. Uh, my brother carries the 380 as a backup and sometimes a primary concealed carry weapon. And then we both carry the 40 Smith & Wesson Glock 23s as our primary uh, concealed carry weapon, a defensive arm when we're out in the wilderness. So what we're gonna do is we have the American Eagle this is 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain full metal jackets. We're going to compare that to the Independence brand 380 90 grain full metal jacket. And then these are the Federal 22 long rifles that come in the 550 packs, the bulk packs. I don't know, I can't remember what the grain weight is on those, but we'll find that out before we calculate the um, muzzle or the, the energy from that bullet. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire four rounds through each weapon. I'm going to fire the 22s through the PT-22 from Taurus. We're going to fire the 380s through my brother's TCP Taurus. And then we're going to fire the 40s through the Glock 23. We're going to record those and then we'll calculate the energy, foot-pound energy, and then we'll post that so that you can see it. All right, we're going to shoot the four 22 long rifles first. Nine hundred and sixty four, nine hundred and fifty two, nine hundred and sixty eight, nine hundred and thirty nine. All right, I'm going to shoot the four three eighties. Eight hundred and ninety. 824, 973, 885. All right, now I'm going to shoot the 440s. 880, 982, 1,000, 962. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the muzzle ener or the energy from these velocities, and I'm going to display them right here. This is the 22 long rifle. This is the 380, and this is the 40. And then here's a comparison of all three. We just thought it'd be interesting to show you that. So anyways, get outside and have some fun.